Hello and welcome to my vlog. My name is Heaven and in this video, it's going to be a bit of an informal and a more chill video where you can actually just go through some of Noah's Montessori learning activities with me. We're in the process of moving to a new home. So I've already packed up a lot of Noah's toys and a lot of his activities that he wasn't using at the time being. But now that we're about a week, or a week or two out, I have to pack up a lot more of them. So I figured this would be the perfect time since I'm already going through them to share some of those activities with you guys. So let's just get right into it. So I ordered these storage bags from Amazon and I thought that these would be perfect to put Noah's like puzzles and his activities in like to keep all of the pieces together they're a pretty nice size i think they're like a, they're like document size but then they also have like a little tab here that you can like write on just to be a little more organized so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of his activities and then i'm gonna put them in here eventually i think i'll actually utilize like the color coordinates um based on like I don't know, maybe like the type of skill it is. Like for instance, maybe put like some science inside of the orange envelope and like some math in the blue, practical life in the green, you know, just different things like that. But for now, my main purpose is to just get this stuff packed up so we can go. I've already made some progress and I just need to get it done. This is his cut and slice wooden play food and this is by Melissa and Doug. It's 22 pieces, so we're definitely going to be needing to put it inside one of these little baggies. And I really love the durability of this. We had another set like this, but it was plastic. Um, but it wasn't just as beautiful as this one. Like, I just love the durability of, like, the wooden puzzles in the wooden toy. And Noah seems to like it as well. So, like, basically... This is like a loaf of bread and it comes with like a cutting board and then a knife and so he can just practice like slicing them. So he has a lot of that and it comes with like the bread and it comes with the carrots and like watermelon and just a bunch of different types of like fruits and vegetables. So we're going to pack that one up. So this is his letter popsicles and he basically can just use it to recognize uppercase and lowercase letters and we can also use it to practice like the different sounds that they make such as I and I. So we use it for that reason and then it also has other letters on the other side but what I normally do is just take them apart and then like put them all out like this. I'll take them apart and leave them in a basket and if that's something he's interested in for that day then he'll pull it out and he'll know what to do with it. He knows he just needs to you know match these together and sometimes I'll get down there with him and then we'll practice the sounds that each of the letters make. So I'm going to pack these up and all of these things I'm still going to make sure that he has access to. I'm just only going to set out about three of them per day because I really need to keep them tidied up so that we can pack them and then this is going to make it so much easier when it's time for us to leave for me to put them in his toy bin. This one we use to teach him math and it's really great actually. You can use it for so much other things as well such as colors and numbers and hand coordination. Um, it's also just a lot of fun. So here it has like the numbers. And basically what you want to do is just put the numbers in there like that and then you have to take these little wooden pegs and you have to lay them out on the floor and put them like smallest to biggest so it also teaches like proportion and then you take the smallest one and match it to the number one and then the biggest one it's going to go with the number 10. And then you also match the colors. So for the red one, you want to use the red fishy. And you want to put one red ring on the wooden peg. And you'll go all the way across. So then you'll find the number two. And then you'll find the next biggest wooden peg with two rings. And then the orange fish. 
And so he does that all together and then it comes with this little fishing stick and then he can kind of just use it like that and we can teach him all about like magnets as well so this can be like math it can be science you can teach him colors you can teach him so many things proportion um with this so this is another one of those Montessori activities that we use very often and I am going to pack this one up Next, we have this one that we use for um, geometry, for focus, and this is something that he really has to focus with. A very smooth surface. There are no ridges um, for placing the puzzle pieces, but basically he'll just take the geometric shapes and he will make the object or the picture that's on the board and he'll just, you know put them where they belong and be very careful because if he goes too fast obviously they'll fall out of place and mess up the whole puzzle um but this is good for colors it's good for geometry it's good for coordination and it's good for focus and it has a lot of these boards so this is another one that we use for his Montessori learning this one i also really like a lot it comes with this board it's like a pattern board and you can make different objects and designs based on the colors so you can just take this off and then choose the design that you want to work with that day it has these cups that you put the balls inside of so these are all of the colorful wooden balls and you take all of the cups and then basically it comes with like a spoon so your child can practice like hand coordination with this it also comes with tongs which he lost those i don't know where they are but basically he has to use them to just match like put all of the balls inside the right color they belong so he'll like and he'll do that for each color and separate all of the color for balls into the cup that they go into. So it's really good for color um, sorting, but it's also really good for hand coordination because it's good. It's really difficult to pick up those balls for those little hands that they have with these small spoons and even with these tongs. So this is something else that we use for his Montessori learning. Um, I really like that. Again, it's really pretty and it's really durable. It's gonna last long. The only thing is that for younger toddlers, these are a choking hazard. So if this is something you're gonna use with your toddler, you really need to pay attention and monitor them and wait until they're old enough to play with something like this because these are a definite choking hazard. This one is a wooden block puzzle that we got for him. This one he hasn't quite figured out yet because you have to go based on like the checkered colors and then some of them don't even have the checkered colors on there. But it's just different farm animals and you um, have to you know match all of the blocks to create the farm animal so it's got a horse a cow it has like a sheep a pig and basically you'll match all of the purple checkered lines together to know which animal so like all of the ones with the purple checkered strip on it will be a pig all of the ones with the blue checkers will be a sheep um and so forth so this is something that he hasn't quite mastered yet but that's great because it's something that we can work towards they're durable they're long lasting and they're big they're definitely not a choking hazard um i like this one um this is just another one of his montessori learning activities this one is a puzzle set and even though like I have a lot of these that says Melissa and Doug, we do have a lot of Melissa and Doug puzzles, but I kind of just interchange these trays. So not everything is by Melissa and Doug, but I will try to leave a link to all of these products in the description box below just in case you're interested. So 
this one is just like different animals or that one's a car and then it's an insect a bee butterfly just a bunch of different objects and he can just you know put the puzzles together so it comes with all of the little pieces in here and he just has to put the pieces together like that and you know just find all of the pieces to just to make the you know the object so this one he's mastered like he can do these really fast so i used to be able to give this to him and it'll keep him busy for a while but now if i give this to him while i try to load the dishwasher he'll be done before i'm even halfway done with the dishwasher so now if i give this to him it's more so just for fun um but again it's durable so you can use it for a next child and we're going to pack it up for now these are by melissa and doug and these are his lacing cards so these are also a really good durable material i don't know if you can see how thick they are and these are really good for hand coordination he hasn't quite gotten this one completely yet like he can do it but he tries to go so fast that he might skip one of the holes so this is something that we still use a lot and this is another one of his um Montessori learning activities and it's good for teaching animals the sounds that the animals make it's good for colors it's good for hand coordination um and for focus this one is by Montessori and me and it's just all of the different types of locks and keys so he just has to go through and find like the different locks and figure out which keys go through the locks and it's something that he really likes he's normally trying to play with our keys and put them in the the doors and the locks around our house so we got him this so that he can now just focus on this and learn some you know hand coordination and some focus and some life skill and things like that Here we have more lacing beads and he really likes these and they're pretty simple, pretty easy, but he still really likes these and this is something that we originally bought when we went on a trip and we knew we would be on the plane for a few hours so this was something that we could easily like put into his diaper bag to keep him busy. And again this is one teaches um, coordinate, coordination, colors. Um, sorting and you know it could really be any of that and the pieces are pretty big so they're not bad for older toddlers this one was actually gifted to us and this is a puzzle that teaches him numbers and colors and here you just put the numbers and order and the color of the number will also match the wedge so like this so you'll just put the numbers and the puzzle where they go and then match the wedges to the correct color and it's really good for teaching them the difference between like a light blue or a dark blue or a turquoise blue just the different shades of the color so that's why i really like this one because i know it's easy for him but it's really also still pretty good for teaching him like the different shades of the colors this one is also very simple it was gifted to us and all it is is just like Good for geometry and colors and sorting and you just put the correct shapes into um the correct slot and even though this one is really simple we use this now to teach him um 3d shapes so he might know for instance what a square is but he may not know that as a 3d shape it's called a cube you know or a hexagonal prism and you know just things like that we can really use them for that reason or he might know what a circle is but he may not know what a cylinder is so we're using it for that purpose right now this one is just a really fun toy it's um wooden material very durable but we started with this before we introduced them to the small locks this one um it has like the little wooden cars inside and you just have to match where the fire truck goes and match it to the right color but it also comes with a key so he can close it 
and then he has to fit the key in there. He can lock it to where you can't open it or he can unlock it and then he can put the correct car into the correct garage with the correct color. So this is something that he likes and surprisingly it keeps him busy for quite some time and then it has like a little handle that he can carry as well. So that's all for um, this video. Again, like I said, we still have a lot more hands-on Montessori puzzles that I've already packed away. These are the ones that I want him to keep out for him to practice on for the next two weeks while we're in the process of moving. And now I'm just going to be putting them in bags so that it's easier for me to really grab them and go when it's time for us to leave. But I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that we use for our Montessori learning. They're really not hard to find. It's fairly easy to find hands-on activities and learning materials for your child if you're interested in the Montessori method or if you're just wanting them you know as a learning resource it doesn't just have to be for Montessori purposes these are just fun hands-on activities for any toddler and any young child so again I'll leave links to all of these down in the description box below in case you're interested in checking them out and just maybe find what may work for your child and try them out again they're very durable so you can save them for a next child and use them for various different ages based on what their skill level and interests are and these are just some of the ones that Noah really loves and these are the ones that I still had on hand um, that I hadn't packed away so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to share some of those with you guys but that'll be all for this video today. I hope that you found this video helpful if you were looking for some Montessori inspired or hands-on puzzles and learning activity for your toddler. Hopefully now you have a few more ideas that maybe you can add to your child's library. And if you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this as well as more helpful information and resources and relatable content. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time.